Hey, how's it going? And welcome back. And in this video, we'll be looking at the brand new Dwarven Mail Armor, which is a creation that adds an alternative light variant of Dwarven Armor, oddly enough. And as with the Star Rib set I previously looked at, it is based on the Blades Free to Play game. So, first things first, the quest was by Chris Takahashi, a name that has never before passed my lips, and cost the princely sum of 100 credit which translates into a one dollar or more importantly around 85 of great britain's shiny pennies basically as with the star room stuff it is cheap as chips and we'll do this the usual way a brief run through of the quest and have a look at the stats and i'll give my thoughts at the end so let's crack on and on downloading the mod, you'll have a miscellaneous quest put into your list requesting that you investigate the camp south of Iverstead. And now, I'm hoping you've all done the Book of Love quest so you can fast travel here. If not, make sure you do that quest. You're more than likely to meet leveled enemies here. I met a bear, but reckon on wolves as well, and these are probably what killed the poor travellers. Anyway, once they're dealt with, loot the arena fan's body and read a note and that should direct you to find Urgnok the Orc at the ruins of Bethalf. I just hope that's how you pronounce that or all that stuff. Anyway, it's just a short journey but beware this is a tough fight. Good old Urgnok is a tough customer and he doesn't fight alone so make sure you go prepared. Okay, so take care of him and all his little bandit buddies. Okay, after that particularly brutal tough fight, let's take a look at the armour itself. Now, the actual male uh, part of the armour I think is actually really nice looking. Um, I'm uh, not really convinced by those massive boots. I'm sorry, that's just heavy armour in, in my eyes. Uh, no ways around that, as are the uh, gauntlets and, and helmet. Um, the textures aren't too bad, they're not the greatest, but they're not too bad. And you know, it's, it's only a dollar, so fantastic. So, like I say, yeah, I think the, uh, the male looks actually quite quite good but I've got to actually hold my hands up here and say I'm not the biggest fan of Dwarven Armour anyway so uh, obviously you take it if you like it or not so let's actually delve in and have a look at the stats okay at first glance these star stats look quite decent the male itself has an armor 27 and a weight of 15 the helmet has an armor rating of 17 and a weight of 5 the gauntlets an armor rating of 11 and a weight of 4 and the boots uh, and I'm racing 11 and a weight of 5. But if you compare this to the next leather armor, the standard, which has the armor has a racing of 34 and a weight of 6, the boots have an armor racing 12 and a weight of 2, braces have an armor racing 12 and a weight of 2, and the leather helmet has an armor racing of 17 and a weight of 2. So I would actually rather be loath to call this light armor. This is probably you're getting towards your middle. You know, a middle band armor if it actually was one, uh, but in, in my opinion, this is way, way too heavy to be uh, light armor. Okay, so let's actually have a look at this uh, stuff and I'll give my final thoughts. Okay, so I, I think this uh, armor is decent enough looking. I don't think the textures and, and, and uh, stuff like that are particularly great, but they're not absolutely awful e either. Uh, my only gripe with this is, I'm sorry, the, the boots, the helmet, and the gauntlets, I'm sorry, they're just not light armor um you know they're just not um but if you're into dwarven armor and uh, or, or that kind of stuff then this is a perfect uh, 
arm for you, at least the closest you're going to get. Um, but bearing in mind, I compared it with, to the Netch um, leather armor, that costs a lot more. And this is only 100 credits or, or $1. So as far as value goes, I, th I think it's pretty good if you're into this kind of armor. Um, I personally won't be using it, but uh, there are many, many who will. Anyway, my opinion doesn't really matter. I just hope I've given you enough information and a bit of insight so you can decide whether this is right for you. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, catch you later.